Hi, my name is Brad Park and I'm with Monero Marine in Richmond, BC, Canada. We've been building boats since 1976. We build uh, from 21 feet up to 30 feet. They're semi-custom fiberglass power boats. What we have here is a 27 foot Monero built in 2000 and the customer has brought the boat to us and asked us to stretch it about three feet. We're going to stretch this boat uh, to our 29 foot length. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up here, all along here, up and over and inside. All this is going to be removed and we're going to add approximately three feet here. And I'll show you what the finished product will look like. Okay, inside we're going to be cutting it uh, approximately here and across and down and right across the boat. And same on the other side. So all this floor will be removed. And it'll actually be about a foot longer in this deck area. Uh, what we have here is a Volvo K8044 diesel. This engine's gonna be removed and it's gonna be replaced with a new Volvo D6370. And here we have a Yanmar nine horsepower inboard auxiliary motor. That's diesel as well. This is gonna be also removed uh, along with everything else in here uh, to do our work. Here we have our Monero 298. This is a stretched version of the 27. So this is what we're gonna turn the 27 into. So what we have, this is approximately the uh, cut line where the 27 ends. So this is where we're adding to the hull. And this will be the new deck. So we have a mold for this and we're gonna lay it up from about here aft and then we're going to fuse the two pieces together. This is the uh, cockpit area of the 29 so this is what it's going to look like when finished uh, in the most part. Um, here's a fish cleaning station that will be there. The swim grid is integrated into this boat uh, that will be there. And over here, over here, uh, this floor is going to be extended at this level about three feet forward. So we have to put an insert into the mold to flatten that piece out. And this will be also included, this hatch here. And the floor will go to about this point, so we're going to join it at approximately this point. So this, again, this bubble will not be here. It'll go flat right through. As the, the work progresses, we'll be making more videos uh, showing you uh, laying up the parts and, and joining things and, and installing the engine and all that stuff. Uh, so come back and, and see our future videos.